Hey, scout him, scout him. Well, it's Friday and that means we're off on another That's So Minnesota road trip. Today, our series takes us about 50 minutes northeast of the Twin Cities to a place with some Scandinavian influence, Lindstrom. A highway runs through the main part of town, but there are many reasons to stop and enjoy the city. Let's check it out. You might have passed through on Highway 8, but stop. Then you'll find all that Lindstrom has to offer. Its iconic water tower screams America's little Sweden. And that Swedish inspiration is where we'll start with author Wilhelm Moberg, who came to the area and wrote the novels The Immigrants in the 1950s. His fictional heroes, Carl Oscar and Christina Nilsson, stand at the west end of town as a tribute to those Swedish immigrants who settled here. We very much celebrate the fact that we have that Swedish heritage, but we don't want to do it in kind of a kitsch way. We want to do it in a way that makes people intrigued about that Scandinavian heritage. That in Intrigue inspired Moberg to find this farmhouse in the area and relocate it to Lindstrom. It's now known as the Carl Oscar House. The town has come a long way. I mean, this photo is where we're standing for this interview. These are historic pictures from the Chisago Lakes Historical Society. And Lindstrom is part of the Chisago Lakes area, so there are plenty of connected lakes to enjoy. Wander in and out of shops when you're not on the water and grab a bite to eat. But definitely stop here. Lindstrom Bakery, home of the Scandinavian donut. It's like an old fashioned donut. And a lot of people have asked me throughout the year what makes it Scandinavian. I tell them that I'm Scandinavian and I make it. That's Bernie, the owner. And yes, her donuts are so tasty. Food and Wine Magazine recently crowned it Minnesota's best donut. It just boggles my mind. The good Lord has blessed me. Unbelievable. A short drive out to rural Lindstrom opens up to this, Panola Valley Gardens. Husband and wife Gary and Mary Ann Norton are the caretakers and perhaps mad creators of the eight acres where all types of flowers grace the landscape. And that's a big job. Of course, we mow every week. It takes a day to do that. I think I'm crazy. <laughs> the crazy makes beautiful wedding ceremonies, and now they're booming luncheons and afternoon tea in the garden. So Mom and I, particularly in the spring, when we're getting started, we look at the infrastructure that's here and we wonder how we ever did it. It is here now, along with the rest of what Lindstrom has to offer. Yeah, so, so fun. fun. Yes, so one thing that gets overlooked is that that area was settled early on by indigenous groups. So the names of their parks or festivals, they recognize that piece of Lindstrom's history too. And a full list, 11 things to see and do there is on care11.com under the sunrise tab.